it's a great one. But now, if you're a Windows user and you want to get into the world of Linux without completely abandoning Microsoft, our next guest has a solution for you, backed by very popular demand, and because he's so darn cute, Director of Special Projects at OSDN, Mr. Chris DeBona. Welcome back to the screen series. So, I'm thinking about making the move. I got the Windows machine at home, but I want to start using Linux. I do not want to get rid of Windows entirely. Get a game what do I do? Exactly. Games. There's still a lot of things I want to use Windows Absolutely. for. Absolutely. What can a guy like me do? Well, we, we can have you do both. Okay, on the same computer. On the same machine. Right. Not at the same time, but you know, like you want to run Linux right now, okay, and then run Windows later. So this is called dual booting. Every dual time booting. I boot up my machine, it's going to ask me which operating system I want to boot into. Windows. How do I do it? Windows. Here's how you do it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to step through the different steps. Okay. You know? So first we're going to talk about, first you want to install Windows, okay? Mm -hmm. And the trick is you've got a big hard drive, right? Yes. And you want to leave Huge. a certain amount of the hard drive for Linux, and you want to give a bunch to Windows. Windows has to be first, though, because Windows kind of gets weird. Windows is kind of a hog. It wants to be dominant. It's selfish. Gotcha. It's selfish. So, so uh, what we do is we want to create a partition for Windows that is not the full size of the drive. So right so. now I've gotten about 19 gigs Right. free. How much do I want to give to Windows? How much do I want to give to Linux? Well, I usually try to give Linux at least four gigs because okay. it gives you a lot of sort of wiggle room. No problem. All right, let's so do it. let's create a partition that is four gigs less than 19, which is... Now, really a partition, we're just sort of splitting that hard drive in two. Just think yeah. of it that way. So, there you go. So, I just created the partition, and then we have this thing here that says unpartitioned space, mm -hmm. four gigs. So, okay. what we're going to do is we're just going to install Windows as we normally would. I normally format using the PAT file system. Okay. So, you have a choice here. We talked about when the first caller called. There's exactly. NTFS or there's FAT. Fat. And you say use FAT if we're going to do a boot into either Linux or, okay. Yeah, actually. because NTFS is supported by Linux, so you could actually look at the data and all that from the Linux side of things, mm -hmm. but FAT's supported better. It's supported better. It's, yeah. it's prime time, whereas it's the other time. is not. So let's go well, FAT. Well, NTFS is good, but FAT's Select it. easier. So continue to format the partition. Mm -hmm. And so basically you're in the Windows setup process right okay. now. So it's, it's doing its thing. And what we've done is we've prepared a machine that's already gone through the Windows side of things. And now we're going to show the Linux side of things. Gotcha. So it's very handy. So we've already done that. So that's that's the end of this. Right. That's okay. the end of this stuff. Because this, this will take that a while. That was simple. This, so we're yeah. going to let this run its course now. I guess we're yeah. going to take a commercial break, right? Yeah. And then we're going to come back and put the Linux on it next. Right. Correct? Exactly. All right. So after the break, uh, we're going to install Linux right here live on TV, be up in Ganoon in no time, aren't we? <laughs>